Hello everybody. Boy, I know I'm supposed to do this video today because just a second ago when I did the introduction, uh, everything uh, went blank. I mean, the power went out and I had to reboot. But I'm not going to let that discourage me here. I'm going to go forward and what I started to say. Um, as many of you know, I'm a chaplain with the U.S. Chaplain Fellowship. And one of the reasons that uh, Dr. Savage and I started that was as I wrote in my video, as I said in my video, excuse me, mouth to brain problems, but uh, it was to be a saved and sanctified worker of the Lord Jesus Christ. And a lot of these, uh, I guess they were military chaplains, complained that I, that I spoke of saved and sanctified workers of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is because today the church, the world church, wants to mix, wants to blend it all together, wants to compromise the things of God so that they can be comfortable and we so we can have a type of social gospel in the church. And it makes me sick. And this is why I, uh, this is what I was starting to do before. And now it's uh, coming across probably even stronger than uh, it would have been if the, if the power hadn't have blacked out. But I'm, but I'm going to read to you something. This is uh, the church of... Uh, Laodicea, the Laodiceans, Revelations 3, 14 through 18. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans writes, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, thou art neither hot nor cold. I would Thou went be hot nor cold. And because thou art lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will spew thee out of my mouth. He's talking about vomiting here. Because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods, I have need of nothing. That's being comfortable in the world. And knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable poor and blind and naked. These are talking about true Christians. We're not nominal Christians, not people playing church. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. He's talking about the Holy Spirit of God, the true word of God empowering him here. That thou mayest be rich and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anointed thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. This is talking about walking in the Spirit of the Lord. Uh, walking in the Lord Jesus Christ. And unfortunately, <clears throat> Because we have so much compromise today in the so-called church and people who claim his name, and maybe they are, maybe they're not brothers and sisters in the Lord. But the whole thing is, different things try our heart in this world to see what we will put first. Will we put the Lord Jesus Christ first? Will we speak the truth? And everybody talks about speaking the truth in love. Well, it's for the love of of the Father that you speak the truth. Because if you can't speak the truth about the love of the Father, then the love of God is not in you. Okay, and this is what I feel like, uh, what that passage just says, I, I want to puke you out of my mouth. It's putrefying the Word of God. Uh, let's not have division in the body of Christ. Well, number one, I ask you, who is the body of Christ? People claim to be the body of Christ, but I tell you, if they're not walking in the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ as saved and sanctified workers, like I said on the U.S. Chaplain Fellowship uh, first video that I did, then they're not even in the body of Christ, or at least they're not walking with Christ. Now, a lot of people today, we use a lot of uh, sentimental religious talk, and they like to twist the Bible to to mean that it loves everybody and we have to we have to pray for everybody we have to all get along 
you know, the Rodney King thing. Uh, but that isn't what the Lord Jesus Christ is talking about. The Lord Jesus Christ is talking about walking, listening, and obeying him in the things that he reveals to us and having the stones to be able to say it. This is what the prophets did. So I don't like this flowery church talk uh, that we have today, this feminization of manhood, this uh, of men's authority, uh, as is uh, spoken about in the word. Um, it's just watering down, lukewarm, uh, the message of walking with and um, in the Lord Jesus Christ as he and his Holy Spirit gives us eyes to see. And so this is why I wanted to do this little video today. This is what I what I think is happening. And it is, it is sickening. And, um, you know, Jesus said that uh, uh, he came to bring a sword, not peace. And that if they hated me, they will hate you also. And this is because he's talking about truth. But you have to say the truth in love. You might offend somebody. Not that sentimental love. The love here is talking about an action. That's what the love's talking about. Just like a soldier, because he loves his country, goes out and fights. That's the kind of love it's talking about. The love for the Lord. The love for country, if you will. I'm using that as an analogy. But everybody has uh, emasculated the, uh, the church today, where everybody is timid and scared to speak the truth of God for fear of offending somebody because the world is trying to mix it all together. Like I said, in mixture, you know, is uh, it, it's kind of like mixing hot and cold water. You're mixing it. And what is it? It's lukewarm. And Jesus says he doesn't want you to be lukewarm. He'd rather you be hot or cold. And I agree with that. So if you know, if uh, true Christian brothers who claim to know Christ can't stand for the truth of God, then I'd rather not be even be in ministry. Yeah, you know, I don't care what uh, you know um, <clears throat> the um, accredited universities say. What the you know the um, the chaplaincy uh, uh, today in the, in the military says, because they're not willing to stand for the truth of God. They're not. They want to go along to get along, to not offend anybody, because they think we can bring all to Jesus. We just have to show them this love. We just have to share the gospel, and we have to pray for them. Well, you know what? The wicked, Jesus tells us, are going to be burnt. They're dogs, vipers. Okay? That's what Jesus called the Pharisees of the day. Uh, and many other lovely terms, but you know, I made a, I made a uh, statement on the web, and people were offended by it because I used the B word, and you know what I've learned by that because I'm not going to say it on this video, in describing something that I thought was a dog, an action of a dog, uh, as far as uh, um, for my country and before, uh, and as far as uh, the love of God and Christendom is concerned, because it was talking about, um, you know, let's not uh, allow the U.S. to um, say anything evil against, um, you know, the, is, the Islamics, you know, um, the Islamic religion, let's make it a crime. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, you know, I'm not going to speak against the Islamic religion any more than I'm going to speak against the Anglican religion or the Catholic religion or any other religion. But, you know, when it gets to the point where you can't speak the truth of God as you see it, as the Holy Spirit leads you, that's when we're in trouble. And I think this compromise that is going around the world today is exactly what's happening. And I make no apologies for it. I make no apologies for the Lord Jesus Christ who moves inside of me and reveals truth to me. The only thing I do is share it with people I ought not to be sharing it with. 
These people claim to be the Lord's, but yet they do not walk with him. Pray for me, brothers. I feel uh, I'm pretty much alone today in, uh, in my walk with the Lord because of compromise and because of mixing people that are not the Lord's with people who do know him. I said in a video the other day, and I have my little note here so I don't forget it, it says, uh, believing about Jesus is not the same as having Jesus or walking with Jesus. And this is where the enemy gets in and destroys. He did it in the Old Testament, the Old Covenant with God's people, and he's doing it in the New. God bless. Bye.